Yeah, I know. Tough week, Dad. <clears throat> First, the Pats lose a Dallas Thomas for the season with a broken arm, and then Ty Law signs with the Jets. Yeah, I know. He's been dead to me for a couple of years, too. Huh. What? How's college? Dad, I'm in my 30s. What up, Pats people? Fitzy from townynews.com here with the latest Wicked Pissa Patriots preview. And you'll have to excuse me this week, because what's going on with and around the Pats of late has me 31 flavors of pissed off. Don't make me angry. Even your mom wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Seems everyone's all over the Jets of late, and nobody's got any faith in your New England Patriots. Oh sure, dude. It'd be real easy to get caught up in the hype of how everyone's talking about how the Jets are really coming together as a team. How 50-year-old Five has stopped gunslinging so much and really learned how to play within the offense. How Chris Jenkins, Calvin Pace, and Darrell or Darrell or however the hell you say his name, Revis, are leading a revitalized, recharged, revamped, and a bunch of other words that begin with the letter R, Jets defense. How Coach Eric Mangenius is, ugh, stop. Just hearing that fat jerk's name makes my ears wish they could vomit. Uh. By the same token, I could bemoan the fact that just when it seemed the Pats were coming together, just when Matt Castlehoff was starting to find his QB not named TFB Groove, just when the defense was really gelling, they lose another impact player, Adelius the Man Beast, to a season and an injury. Yeah. Reading that on Monday was the squirt of sour milk my coffee needed. And as it is, the coffee in my office absolutely sucks. I could cry about all the injuries that have beset the team, or how Ty Law scorned the Patriots and decided to sign with the reviled Jets once again. Well, there's another name on my people who won't be getting shit from me this Christmas list. But instead, I'm gonna tell you about how much I believe in the Pats and how much I hate the goddamn Jets. I'm with you. Uh. Win or lose, every time life, injuries, and the football gods try and knock the Pats down, they get back up and get back after it. And how can you not love this scrappy mix of veterans, rookies, and no-names? Especially this Ben Javis Green Ellis fella. Dude, this guy's got more names than I've got consecutive days sober. The law firm of Ben Javis Green Ellis. We fight for extra yards for you. And on the other side of the ball, there's the goddamn Jets. With Benedict Mangini at the helm and everybody's favorite, Mr. Brett the Jet 5 under center. What, they win a couple of games in a row and think they're the kings of the world and that the injury depleted Pats is supposed to just roll over and play dead, especially at home? Oh, give me a fucking break, Nel Carter. Dude, I would rather eat a bird shit Sunday out of Whoopi Goldberg's underpants than see the Jets take the title of Beast of the AFC East at the Pats' expense. I would rather get whipped 100 times on my junk with a handful of Twizzlers, attend a Michael Bolton and Kenny G concert with the cast of The Hills, be hired as Eric Mangini's personal manscaper, than to see the Jets take the title of Beast of the AFC East from the Pats in Foxborough. Get fired up, Pats fans. In fact, I want all of you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up and go to your window, open it, Stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Also, I hate the goddamn Jets. Till we meet again, this is Paul Fitzy Fitzgerald of townynews.com saying, let's go Pats. And hey Jets, come on up to Foxborough. Why, this time of year, it's a beautiful place for you to go and fuck yourself. Ah, uh, did I mention that I hate the goddamn Jets?